all right everyone welcome back for another video and today's video is going to be a bit different it's some raid defense but before we get into the raid defense i am going to discuss the aftermath before rather than after because i think it's hilarious and it puts a lot of context to it so right now on the screen you're going to see multiple screenshots from chat these are conversations my girlfriend had with them the day after this video took place okay we're gonna i'm gonna read the first one nope I never do that. Ask people on the server. We don't even loot. I get into people's bases and show them where they messed up. Just here for fun. Okay, listen. The first thing I want to say, that condescending, I get into people's bases and show them where they messed up. Just here for fun. What, what kind of ego trip are you on? Okay, calm down. Just calm down. Second one. We have way more. They're talking about how much dragon powder they have. They said they had over a thousand at one point. Big, big deal. We were going to raid, but seems pointless on a 5x server. Wait. But you just said... I get into people's bases and show them where they messed up just here for fun. Are you raiding sandstone bases or something? You know? And then you literally contradict yourself with seems pointless on a 5x server but okay see do you guys understand what i'm getting at now do you see it we're going to go to the bottom left this is them talking about being able to raid keyhole one says i know not if y'all are on the other says i've raided buildings like this it's possible it sure is if we're offline and don't have a bubble you yeah you could but i mean they said why bother raiding on a 5x server i mean I'm, I'm surprised they've gotten into any bases that aren't sandstone but then again for all i know that's all they've gotten into okay the last one on the bottom right they're talking about other bases near us and then they were saying we were mad about the war pyramid that they built well, we weren't, and you'll see why in the video. N no one in my clan was upset about it at all. But anyways, that was my girlfriend arguing with them because they were trying to say they were here for PvP, and now you will see in the second screenshot, which we're going to discuss, which is on screen right now, that's the grid we live in. We lived in Keyhole. The swords on the map are where they had fobs. They also had another fob by the river at one point. But if you read these uh, screenshots from chat, you guys are claiming an entire grid. You are literally trying to claim a grid. We're claiming a grid or we're trying to claim a grid? Because if we were trying to claim the grid, then how did you build literally right next to us? How? How? And not to mention on the other side of the river, which if you saw the previous screenshots where he was talking about raiding people and my girlfriend said we don't raid noobs what we mean is we don't raid sandstone and we're not going to raid a tier 2 base that was within our grid why would we there was two that were wheel bases right next to leon uh why would we raid that there's no point we might raid it if we realize those people haven't been on for a long time and they're not playing anymore. Why not? But if we're going to go raid a, like a 4x4 four four, that's tier 2 or a sandstone that's a 2x2 two two, or a 4x4 four four, that's a wheel, what's the point? But that's what we're dealing with here. These are the people that came to raid us. So now as we get into the video, what's funny, the reason I wanted to show those screenshots first, they were talking about pvp prior okay uh, I, i'm gonna even put the screenshot up again as they sit inside their uh you know pvp pyramid you know you just you just got to they they literally said they literally said thought you guys would be into pvp not many people on the server into that if you came to my base to pvp why was your clanmate sitting inside the pyramid while I blew it up? And as you're watching this video, ask yourself that why. <laughs> you're like, what? What is this? Like, what is this? I could not believe this conversation that was happening the day after, too. Like, saying it's pointless to raid on a 5x server, saying 
we get into people's bases and show them where they went, where they messed up, just here for fun. Like, like, do you, are you guys on the same page? Like, are you, you got all your screws tightened? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm really not. I just don't understand the ignorance here. And I know what it is. It's the typical, um, you know, you get shut down before you could even begin. So now you're upset. You, you try to say we're upset, but why, why would we be upset? I, I, I blew up your PVP pyramid. I blew up your teleporter. I blew up everything. I blew up everything. Let me tell you guys. It was 10 minutes before raid window opened. I logged on and I went outside and I saw a PVP pyramid with a vault next to it. And I, for a quick second, I said to myself, is that ours? And then my brain was like, nope. I ran inside, grabbed enough stuff to craft a hundred bombs on my inventory since I was already in a weight build, made sure I had my flashy yellow pants on and I watched the clock tick down until I think what, 7 PM. And then when 7 PM hit, I was already next to their vault and I was already ready to blow it up. I was placing bombs at 659 and when it hit seven, I detonated them. I thought I was actually recording sooner than when this video started. So I'm sorry for that. There was a lot going on and I, I thought I had pressed my hotkey and I didn't. I also thought there was commentary, but I guess my mic was muted, which is probably a good thing because you would have just heard me, uh, laughing like a deranged idiot as I went into a coughing fit because I was literally I was having so much fun it felt good I don't feel like an experienced pvp -er or raider I've done quite a bit of raids I've done a quite a bit of pvp but I'm not at that level of say someone with thousands of hours but it felt good to just go out there with all those bombs and just you know attack before they could you know, and I guess it was good. I guess that psychological warfare worked because they literally did not know what to do. Yeah, we had a, there, there was a more conversation than this. One of them actually insulted uh, me for being in a weight build and was saying, you know, because my girlfriend was fighting them and it was like, yeah, you guys didn't even kill me. They couldn't kill me. Two of their thralls died. One of them died. After that, they just gave up. As you'll see, they, they just gave up. They just disappeared. They came back the next day. They set up a treb. Like, they, they, they wanted to raid us so bad. And they couldn't figure out how. Because we're in Keyhole. And they knew they couldn't. But they didn't, they didn't quit there. They, they built another PvP pyramid behind our base. And uh, it just sat there. And we blew it up. And they got mad that we blew into it and said, well, now we're not going to remove it because you blew it up. It's like, okay. When our, our clan mate was on, they had a treb. They were shooting little boulders trying to line it up. They gave up, took it down. And that's why I showed the screenshots first. It's just like blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of hot air. No action. They didn't do anything. They didn't kill us once. The entire wipe. They didn't get anywhere. They didn't get anywhere. They actually did end up coming back when we were raiding someone else and they knew we weren't at our base. And he came over and placed a few bombs and then ran off like a dog with his tail between his legs. Didn't try to PvP us. You know, didn't come over for the PvP. Knew where we were raiding. Didn't try to PvP. Just very funny. You know, they brought up that PvP. I'm, I'm stuck to it like glue. Okay, because it just blows my mind that that's your logic, but I, you never said like, come PVP Brim, come PVP at the arena. There was an arena on the server as well, built by the admin. You could have asked us to come PVP if you were into PVP. You never, you never once asked for PVP. It was just very odd. You probably thought maybe we were bobs and we built the drawbridge wrong and you could get in our base and then act like the little condescending prick you are and be like, well, if you would have placed the drawbridge like this, it would have been better protected and then built this up there so I couldn't get up there to place bombs. Uh, you didn't even blow through a darn door. 
So I don't know what you're rating. I don't know what you're on about. Maybe you're rating sandstone and and then you like to tell them what they should do. I don't get it. I don't get it. You contradict yourself. You say, what's the point of raiding on the server? And then you say, we raid for fun. We're just here for fun. It makes no sense. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you realize how ridiculous people are on games in general and in life. This, These are real people, you know? These are real people that walk around uh, on our planet with us. And uh, instead of just coming over and be like, you guys caught us off guard yesterday, you know? I, we did not expect you to come out and start blowing our fob up immediately, and I wasn't even there, and the one person was there was panicking and didn't know what to do, so they sat inside the pyramid and twiddled their thumbs until the other one came back, you know, their white knight in shining armor. And even when he showed up, uh, they still couldn't kill me or my girlfriend, and I was able to run around in my flashy yellow pants and blow everything up that you built. So it was a good time for me and I had, I had a blast doing it, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, if you did leave a like, drop a comment, if you want, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. And I, I, I'll make a deal with you. If you ever get sick of me, cause even I get sick of myself, you can go ahead and, uh, and unsubscribe. I won't be mad at you. I won't judge you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.